Good morning. It is July 8th. Yes. And this morning we are at our Copper Creek Villa. And we're going to go have breakfast at what? The what? Whispering Canyon Cafe. That one. So it's like one of their table service restaurants here at the Wilderness Lodge. So we're going to check it out. I heard they have an all-you-can-eat skillet and lots of other delicious things. So we're going to take you guys along with us and give a little review. And yeah. Let's go. to the Whispering Canyon Cafe. One thing that you can do to like avoid contact is you can check in online on, through the app. You have to like be in the area and they know because we tried it like closer to our room and they said that we were too far away. You answer questions like if you're allergic to anything or if you have any like dietary restrictions or if you're celebrating something and then they are gonna text me when our table is ready. So we're just gonna wait. So this is the little menu. You scan it on your phone. I've already scanned it and it brings me up to the menu. So it looks like they have all you care to enjoy signature skillets, omelets, frittatas. I think they also have like, yeah, Belgian waffles. But this is what it looks like when we're inside. Look at this Diet Coke. <laughs> that is amazing. Here's our. Oh my goodness. You might need to help me, Garrett. Nope, you're on your own. You're supposed to help her. But that's okay, because she probably just slobbery in it, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So before our skillets get here, she brought us our, she called them appetizers, which is syrup and butter. And then over there, what do you have over there? Garrett? I really, I really did get appetizers. So I got the lighter side, which is like the healthy version. So we have some fruit, uh, like an oatmeal or stone oats, and then some yogurt. Oh, so the syrup and butter is my appetizer. Yeah, that is literally <laughs> your appetizer. <laughs> I got a waffle somewhere in there. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the lighter version. Sometimes I find Disney food really, really heavy. Yeah. And so I kind of like to explore the lighter options. I got the Heritage, which is like their main base, their main Yeah, the Heritage like is like their skillet, like yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is like a skillet. We'll see what happens, we'll see. So here is my Heritage skillet. So you have a buttermilk, it's like a cheesy buttermilk biscuit. Homemade. Yeah, homemade, so really good, and sausage gravy. And then we have some potatoes, some eggs, a wa Mickey waffle, a Mickey waffle. And my first Mickey waffle of the trip, it's so exciting. Bacon and sausage, and it's all you care to enjoy. So if I eat all of this and want more, then they'll bring me more. Do they bring you bits and pieces? Like, could you just get more potatoes? Probably, yeah. Because, like, I probably won't be getting more eggs because I don't ever eat the eggs, so. So for uh, the lighter side, it's all, it's similar to Alyssa's, but lighter. So this is a turkey sausage, turkey bacon, potatoes, same Mickey waffle, and then it's like a egg white frittata with some um, spinach. Oh, you'll like that. Yeah, and it's just, it's just lighter. That's, I'm, I'm all about the, I think I'm gonna explore the lighter options this trip. Drinks and everything, so. I'm gonna eat the potatoes. We're gonna eat, okay? Bye. Okay, so I already know I'm gonna want more biscuits and gravy. I've already ordered more. I like, I was telling Garrett, I like how you can get like a little bit of everything. Like this is my perfect meal because I always want sausage and gravy, but I also want like potatoes and bacon and basically all the carbs, not really the eggs, but I'm just excited. And Garrett's really enjoying his, minus the turkey sausage. <laughs> How's no, the bacon? I'm it. I, you always say I always eat everything one at a time. I'm trying to diversify <laughs> my eating pattern, <laughs> Alyssa Rose. How is the turkey sausage and turkey bacon? If you like turkey sausage and turkey bacon, <laughs> get it. Garrett really liked the uh, Loosely? the oatmeal situation yeah, here. Hold on, let me look it up. That thing. That's got oatmeal in it. Mo Moosely. It's Swiss oatmeal. Hmm. Interesting. Has, so you like put in a jar, milk, 
the oatmeal stuff and like any fruit you want, I'm gonna make it at home. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right, it's been some time and I'm slowing down uh, just to review biscuits and gravy, amazing. I kind of wish that I would have just gotten that as my meal, but I'm, I'm really enjoying everything. I enjoyed the waffle. The potatoes are really good. I didn't try the sausage. Garrett will have to try that for me because I'm not a huge really sausage person. The bacon was amazing, which is why it's gone. I'm actually getting more. The eggs are actually really good too. I'm not a, typically an egg person, but they are really good here. Usually, which is amazing. It's so good. Uh, fruit is great. Frittata is good. Potatoes are good. Mickey waffle, too doughy for my taste, but again, that's me. And turkey sausage, but yes, this is, and I don't feel like super duper like full. Like I will feel after this. Yes. Meal. And she hasn't finished the Diet Coke yet, so we're gonna make bets on if she does. I forgot to show you guys um, at like every other table they have a sign and it just says for your health and safety this table is not available so like there's a family over there but other than that like they all of these tables are not being used so they definitely social distance like there's another family over there but we are more than six feet apart so I think I think Disney's is like they try six to ten feet. Yeah, it's definitely more than six in the, feet. In the parks, it'll be ten feet at the rest areas. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we just got done at Whispering Canyon Cafe. We will give, like, a full review in a little bit. Garrett's using the bathroom. It's now starting to rain. We were going to go to the pool, but it's starting to rain. Florida weather in July. So we are going to actually go to the gift shop here in the Wilderness Lodge because we haven't done that yet. So we'll show you some of the new merch if they have any. Um, and, yeah, we'll just go from there. I absolutely love this. This is so cute. So we're gonna go into the mercantile. They do have some safety reminders here. You can also sanitize your hands before you go in. Garrett's gonna, Garrett's gonna do it. I literally just washed my hands. Oh my gosh, look at all of these, Garrett. This is so cute. That is adorable. Look at that frame. I love that. These water bottles are cool too. I actually really like that. This would be nice for the park. And that's a nice, it's a smaller size. And these are the 24 hour cold. I love this statue. I love all of this. It's a cute little orna ornament. Oh, and they even have art. I love all of this. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. It says... I'm a glamper, not a camper. They have some of the rainbow collection here. Oh, these, so these are all for the Wilderness Lodge. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. That's a really nice sweater, but you're not going to need that here. I like that shirt, Garrett. That one down there. Yeah. Very cute. Oh, and there's a tank top for me. I love that. I do have some pins here. They have this in pin form. I'm a glamper, not a camper. They also have the Wilderness Lodge. Oh my gosh, it's just a normal Chippendale. Like they're not dinosaurs, but it's so cute. Oh my gosh. I thought they were together and I was gonna totally freak out. This is definitely happening. They are selling some sanitizer and their masks. So you have me now because Alyssa ran away. DVC almost has its own pantry here. So they have buns and cereal, pop tarts, Stuff donuts, stores, s'mores, items, chips. chips, and then they have uh, bottles of wine here. They had liquor up front, but then their cooler selection is frozen pizza, ice cream. Um, you can even get Mickey premium bars here. And yeah. Sandwiches. They even have like meat and cheese for sandwiches. And they have eggs. Hot dogs. So it's like a, it's almost like, like a corner bodega almost. Yeah, but you can get milk. Of but then milk also they have, milk. yeah, they have a whole bunch of different you beers. Can get moonshine. Wine. <gasps> 28 bucks. <laughs> so how much is like a six pack of like Bud Light or something? Six pack of Bud Light is. It doesn't say, but it's, it's pretty full free. Sure. 
I'm pretty sure they're fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. So to, so to get it, it's we we say it's like ballpark prices. It's like a lavender almost. I really like this light purple color. I think I it, they have like the probably make you look really tan. Yeah. I really <laughs> like it. Ooh, look at the peach underneath it. The peach is fun too. A lot brighter though. I like all of them. Yeah. So they have an entire center island here of Disney Vacation Club stuff because obviously this is a DVC resort. All right, we are back in our hotel room. I feel like we're ending a lot of our vlogs now with this, but it's a nice time to like sit down and like actually review where we ate, which was the Whispering Canyon Cafe in the Wilderness Lodge. So overall, our thoughts. I liked it. Our waitress was windy. Yeah. And uh, she like had this whole, we're, we're rooting tootinist thing shtick and it was fun it was it added to the it experience was like su it kind of felt like a southern hospitality yeah and then the food in general mm -hmm. was i thought it was delicious yeah i mean it was like your typical breakfast stuff but it was just put out in, in a different way mm -hmm. like the the all you can eat skillet i feel like is a very good price for the money it was 22 dollars for the skillet but it was like ask for extra biscuits and gravy and extra bacon and they, they'll bring you anything that you want extra i got a extra of that oatmeal stuff there. yeah it yeah. was good though so overall i'm pretty sure we spent like 50 dollars and that was with we were also able to use your 10 percent uh pass holder discount so we used that as well and i would totally go back again it was a really it was the ex overall experience was very fun mm -hmm. too like wendy made it extremely she like she was me. so fun like, she scared me a couple times because my back was to the <laughs> dining room and she snuck up on it oh, <laughs> But overall, it was great. And was the good. resort in general is super duper safe to mm -hmm. be in during this time. There's literally not that many people here, even though the parks are opening in just a few days. Mm -hmm. There's no one here. We still feel like we pretty much have the place to ourselves. Yeah. yeah. Um, we did see like some kids running around today doing a scavenger hunt because it is a rainy day. We're hoping that we'll be able to go to the pool, but we're going to eat at Homecoming tonight. <sighs> Chef Art Smith's Homecoming in Disney Springs, and it'll be our first time ever. So you'll have to stay tuned for the next video because there's going to be some more amazing food coming your way. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you real soon. Bye. See you later.